sure Eric Hunt is here. Positive, Brother Andrews. I've been watching this dude for weeks now. Sound the same old bullshit. That job Tucky sucker better be here. Relax, Andrews. Hell. You ain't just come here to arrest a criminal. You came here to have some fun, too. No. You came here to flirt with Lita. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know what? When we go inside, why don't you find you a nice foxy lady to talk to? I'm starting to get worried about you. I'm starting to think you're going to be lonely for the rest of your life. Man, I get plenty of women. Stop talking that bullshit. Whatever makes you sleep at night. they ever listen why don't they ever listen to me I mean it would be so so fucking different if all they had to do all they did was all they had to do was listen to shut me. up you know we could have that like I did, I know, like, what we had to do with this, like, we just we had it on the Well, if it isn't Jack Brother James, what's a cop like you doing in a place like this? Well, Lita, I should be asking you the same damn question. What's a fine, elegant, foxy lady such as yourself working in a place like this? Well, you know as well as I do that books alone don't pay the bills. <laughs> Why don't you let Jive Brothers James take care of this for you? Wait a minute, Jive Brother James. I think you're cute and all, but don't get me confused with one of those handout fools you deal with. I can take care of myself just fine. Well, I do love a woman who can take care of herself. If you want to deal with me, then you better. Detective Andrews, how are you? Well. My partner and I are supposed to be looking for a drug dealer in this ball, but unfortunately I can't find him. Maybe if my partner wasn't so busy, but I was a partner, we might be able to find him. You take it easy, brother Andrews. You're gonna find this foul brother, okay? I'm pretty sure he's around here somewhere. Wait, drug dealer? Is this guy named Eric? Yes, have you seen him? Yeah, that idiot is always selling his dope with his bag with the other drug dealer. You should do something about that guy. He always harasses the woman that works here. Alright, don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. I'll see you later. If you say so. Yeah, baby. 
Cruise. So I got a nice little uh, yacht by the pier, not too far from here. Okay. Oh, so you're gonna show me your yacht? <laughs> Baby, I'm gonna show you a lot of things that are gonna amaze you. Big thing. <laughs> Yo, Eric! Eric, man! Yo, what the fuck you want, man? This coke's a little too you loose to shoot up, man. This coke's a little bit too loose to shoot up? Huh? What about I gave you some shit that was too hard to do anything with in the first place? Then you gonna shut the fuck up? You take what the fuck I give you, and you enjoy that shit. Pick it up. That's right. Put that shit to your fucking face. Fucking jump. Freeze, y'all tuck it, sucker! Oh shit! I knew I was Put this man down! Back up, put the man down, man! I'm gonna put it down, bitch! I'm gonna put it down! You wanna put it down? Okay, sucker. Two-year-old male is charged with cocaine possession and selling the unit of substance. And one able body, please get me some money. I said one able body, not four people. You, sir. What was Eric doing at Raven's Bar and Grill? Please, everyone, don't speak all at once. What's 
Excuse me, sir. This orange juice is broken. No, I don't know. I do not like broken my orange juice. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had. I didn't know any of Of course. Of course you did. See, there's lots of jobs here. And you see Eric. Eric, you look. I don't like any pulp in my orange juice. What's the name of the cop that arrested me? Okay. I want to know everything there is to know about this job. I want to know who he is. I want to know who he's fucking. And I want to know what kind of toothpaste he uses. I want to know everything. Just like him, always not on the job. I just want to congratulate you guys for doing a wonderful job ca capturing Eric Hunter. You know, one of the main kingpins here, and uh, I just want to say it was an excellent job. Uh, what do you have to say for yourself? Uh, unfortunately, the job Tony Sucker doesn't want to cooperate with us in catching Pepe Ricardo, but we'll figure something out. Yeah, but all in due time, all in due time. But there's a little incident here that happened between the both you and uh, Andrews got into. I mean, I'm looking at this paperwork here, and you guys have been seriously violating a couple issues. Well, what do you mean, during the job? Yeah, during the cop. I mean, that's Robert Andrews is out there flirting with bartenders and stuff like that. I mean, I'm busy doing my job. Oh, wait a minute now. The two of you go out there, to you handle the job, until you have to handle the pressure. And all this antics you guys got into is not corresponding with our department. So if you guys can't get your act together, you can turn in your badges. And can you dig that, brother? I hope you can dig it. I'll be going. Yo, yo, you got a minute there, job, brother James. I heard that you had some weed here that you uh, confiscated from one of them areas. His mama named him Moe, but I can't yeah. And uh do you have access to this weed? Together like the house that John Bill. Well right, I think it was lost during the assignment. I mean, the cop, what are we doing with weed? Relax, we got brother James. Relax. This is copacetic here. I'm just asking some questions. And you can just politely tell me. Um because I have some interest in this uh herbis so cannabis or whatever you call it, weed, um, can you locate this packages of stuff? Wait a minute, Chief Ronald. You mean to tell me that you smoke weed? Child Brother James, does the air flow through the air? Does the sun come up and does the moon shine at night? Yes, I do. Um, this job is very stressful. I prefer the cannabis than the be cure. Kind of keeps me sane. Can you dig that, brother? So, uh, when can we get together and do this rendezvous?
lowering their cup, they pick the cut. If you lay one hand on Leah, I'm going to hurt it. I don't give a damn about your girlfriend. I believe you have some. Eric Hunter, you know I can't do that. Luckily for you, I don't give a rat's ass about Eric Hunter. I want the $2.5 million you picks took from me last night in exchange for your girlfriend. Do the exchange tonight. In the warehouse is 20 to 45 million on the door. Tell me here, no later. That job turkey sucker's gonna pay. What will job brother James do? Will he trade the $2.5 million in exchange for Lita? Or will he have another plan up his sleeve, baby? Tune in for next week's episode of Jive Brother James.